The temperature pressure relief valve, or TPR valve, is the most important safety device on a water heater. This valve allows water to escape out of the tank if the water temperature or the pressure exceeds safe limits. There's a TPR valve on this water heater, but there's no drain line. A TPR valve requires a drain line, and the drain line should terminate at a visible and an approved location. If the TPR valve at this tank discharges water, a person or the wall might be doused or splashed with hot water. This TPR valve is worthless. It's been blocked, capped off. If the thermostat ever fails, this water heater could explode. When inspecting TPR valves and drain lines, the home inspector runs into a myriad of problems and a multitude of homebrew installations and safety issues. Basic rule number one, the TPR drain line may not run uphill. A line that's routed up can lead to a mineral plug and failure of the TPR valve. Copper flex tubing is not suitable as a drain line for various reasons, one of which is because it can be bent uphill, even if it wasn't installed that way in the first place. Here's another common but unacceptable installation, PVC plastic. PVC is not rated for use with hot water. The TPR drain line must be made of an approved distribution pipe, usually rigid copper or CPVC plastic. And it can't have a threaded outlet, and it must be at least the same size as the outlet of the TPR valve. That's usually three-quarter inch or larger tubing. And the TPR drain line needs to be kept as short as is possible with a minimum number of elbows and changes in direction. Now we're looking at the other end of the line. The TPR drain line should not be routed into the crawl space. If the TPR valve discharges water or if it fails, the leak could attract wood-destroying organisms to the crawl space. And make no mistake about it, these valves have been known to leak on occasion. A general rule, and there are a few exceptions, states that a TPR drain line should terminate 6 inches to a maximum of 24 inches above grade at a visible location. This is Stephen L. Smith of King of the House Home Inspection in Bellingham, Washington. I'm a licensed home inspector and a licensed structural pest inspector. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. King of the House serves the northwest corner of Washington State, focusing on Whatcom, Skagit, and Island Counties. Stephen L. Smith is licensed home inspector number 207, a state licensed structural pest inspector, an FHA registered inspector, lead instructor of home inspection at Bellingham Technical College, and a member of the Washington State Home Inspector Licensing Board.